This was once the pride of Iraq, Baghdad Central Station. Home to the rail network that once reached far and wide across Iraq to Syria and connecting onto Turkey as recently as 2002. Iraqi railways began in 1912, taking over a small local route built in 1869. The invasion by US troops in 2003 and then the occupation and the war against ISIL since have all taken their toll. A touch of faded glamour remains, but with just two services a week to the southern Iraqi city of Basra, it's a shadow of its former self. In 2010, foreign investors came in. The Iraqis bought 12 new Chinese trains, but ISIL's attacks are put paid to that reinvestment and rebuilding plan. <laughs> What happened after ISIL took control over the three major Sunni provinces in Iraq back then is the deliberate sabotage against the vital railways in Nineveh, Salah din and Anbar, besides destroying the trains and freight trains, including the stations and associate workshops and buildings. We are aiming to rebuild what was destroyed by terrorism, in collaboration with the Ministry of Finance and Planning and IMF. Critics say it's an optimistic assessment. So far, nowhere near enough money has been allocated for the rail revival. A deal with the IMF to provide $5 billion for reconstruction has yet to be finalized. Passengers are few, and even then, the complaints are many. While we filmed, a train broke down and the service was canceled. <laughs> The train has not even moved yet, and then they told us it's broken down. They told us there are no services. We only take the train to avoid car accidents on the road, as we believe it's safer. Now the operating staff keep relocating us to other trains. There's a lot of nostalgia when it comes to Iraqi railways. The old remember them fondly, and the young as part of Iraq's history. But with road and air travel crucially more convenient and cheaper, it's unlikely that Iraq's railways will ever match their international heyday. The best rail fans and government leaders can hope for is a regular and well-maintained domestic service that might be able to make a profit. Imran Khan, Al Jazeera, Baghdad.